Greetings, I'm Gypsum with Gypsum GTS, and we're back with some more House of the Dying Sun. This time we're going to be mixing it up with some 2D and some VR footage. So when you see on the bottom left there 2D, that's obviously 2D, and then it's going to switch to VR once we switch over to VR footage. I had to do this because when you're playing VR, a lot of the menu items don't show up on the recording. Boo. Alright, so let's get started here with our... Let's see, this is mission number two. So we're going to be doing mission two and three. Alright, and we're about to have the transition here. And this is Raid at Sumir's Cloud. Okay, so we're switched over to VR. And what we have to do is take out two supply caches and blow up a shuttle of workers to show them that we mean business. Alright, so as you can see, it looks pretty good in VR, and as you can see with the field of view that I was talking about, it's a lot shorter than I would like for recording. Which kind of sucks, but, uh... Okay, so we're start starting off right off with our bonus objective, shooting a missile here at the shuttle. And... Does it make contact? Ah, <laughs> there we go. Nice. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our next objective, and we're going after this time a Corvette. Now they've got a little bit more shields and let's see, this guy says he doesn't have any shields, he's got more hull. So uh, we're going to come up here on him and engage. It's going down pretty quick. Alright, he's down, now we're going up to the main objective, of this, uh, which is the supply cache. Alright, quick reload, and now we target the last supply cache, and this should be the last one. Yes, okay, one to go, and we've already gotten our bonus objective, so it looks like we're making good time here on mission number two, and we're clear to engage. Nice, don't even have to do a reload. Alright, that's going to be it for mission two, over pretty quickly, and... I don't even think we took any damage on that one. I think we did a hell of a job. And just when the big ships are coming in, it's time for us to warp out. Alright, going to warp. Yeah, pretty easy objective. And now we transition back to 2D, because this doesn't show up on the recording for VR. But you can see we did a pretty good job. It only lasts about two minutes. We destroyed our supply caches, our accuracy was, oh, okay, 70%, it's a passing grade. And we killed two ships, giving out over 2,000 old damage. Very nice. And that is it for mission two. Pretty good, pretty good. It seems like they're just trying to ramp us up just a little bit slowly at a time, give us a good learning curve. So maybe mission three will be a little bit more challenging. Let's find out what it is. All right. It is the cartographer. Very nice. And it looks like we get an interceptor when we complete this mission. That's something to look forward to. So far we've just been flying solo. And yeah, we'll stick for one. And we got an upgrade recently. We got some Fury missiles. So let's use that this time. It's supposed to be an anti-aircraft missile. Alright. Prisoner transfer at Hollow Field. Defend the Assault Transport Hangman. Alright, and here we transition back to VR. I'm not usually a huge fan of defend the objective kind of missions, but uh, we'll see if they can spice it up here a little bit with House of the Dying Sun. Let's see, it looks like we got a wingman. Very nice. And it looks like our first fighter here is just over 14 kilometers out. Yeah, those reinforcements are further out, so we'll have to concentrate on these guys. And it doesn't look like these fighters have any shields either. So big advantage for the home team. And we're just coming up now on firing range. We're getting close. There we go. We got our tone for lock. He's down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we gotta reload. Let's keep him in sights. Nice. And the Vulcan did his job. 
Alright, so what's our next closest? We got eight kilometers out here. Uh oh, we got fires detected on Vigilant 2. Hopefully that doesn't mean they're getting blown up. Okay, these guys are only four kilometers out. We'll engage them next. We got a firing lock. With the main guns. Let's see if we can get them without a reload. No, we gotta reload. Missed too much. Uh oh, Hangman has started taking damage. Oh, never mind, they're boarding. Oh, whew. So it looks like they're going along with their mission. We can go about ours. Nice, another one down. Get the reload in. It says we're getting more enemy reinforcements. Right, I'm switching over to heavy weapons here. See if we can knock out this Corvette long range. This guy's got hull and shields. And we should get tone here pretty soon. That torpedo has a pretty long firing range. Alright, we've got lock. We'll switch back to main guns and see if we can take out a fighter while the torpedo goes after the Corvette. Oh, nice. Big explosion, but the Corvette survives. We'll have to finish up with this fighter first. Come on. We got good tone. <laughs> and it's taking a reload. Oh, nice. It looks like our wingman took out the Corvette. So we can always use a little bit of help. Uh, so it looks like we got another fighter out here at just over six clicks. And more reinforcements coming in at eight. Now these guys are a lot closer. I think we're going to have to go after them first. Oh, I'm taking a few hits. Going to start a roll, see if we can stay out of the firing range here with the other fighters. Alright, it looks like... Oh boy, we got some explosions. I think we're still good though. Our ships are still in one piece. Okay, here we go. Come on. Give us tone on the missiles. There we go, there we go. Alright, so now we got a flagship here, so we need to finish these guys up quick so we can get out of here. Alright, looks like that's it. Looks like our wingman helped us out and took out the rest of those fighters while we went after the ones that were close here. Yep, we're good. Escape with the prisoners. Now we gotta warp out before the main ship blows us up. Oh, good. We're out of here just as they're launching fighters against us. Nice. Whew, going to warp. And now we transition back to 2D, and it looks like we did pretty good. Uh, we got a promotion here for our wingman. Ooh, accuracy 46%. We got a failing grade on this one. But our assault transport survived, our royal guard survived, it looked like we did pretty good. Pretty successful mission, I must say. And we get a fleet upgrade, another fighter, nice. So that's going to bring us up to two fighters. That's going to be great. Pretty soon we'll have to go going into like fleet mechanics and order other fighters to do other things and not just let them go willy-nilly on their own. Pretty cool upgrade. Alright, I think that's going to end it for episode 2, where we got through mission 2 and 3. Not bad at all. Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you all next time.